find what you said that we call the wealthy people who make billions on war, put it towards something else. Right. Well, what I would do, first of all, if what I see happening all over the world is falling apart, the money system is falling apart. And this is the first time the United States has been at war and it didn't pull them out. War always pulled a country out. The Great Depression in America when the banks failed, we got orders for new airplanes to fight Germany, Italy, and Spain. You understand? And Japan. So the money was given to the aircraft factories and everybody went back to work. Now the aircraft factories are turning out airplanes, warships, submarines, and we still have unemployment. Well, it's not working. And Obama bailed them out. That's not going to work anymore. So it's happening all over the world. That's why Turkey asked me to come there to talk about the Venus Project. And we went to Dubai and many other countries. They want us to come and talk about the Venus Project. Will it work? I don't know. It depends on what other people do. Roxanne and I have no power. When you leave here, if you don't talk to people, nothing will happen, I can assure you. If a person says, it'll never work, well, show me where it won't work. Ask them, because we're interested. If you can find out what's the matter with it, where it won't work, do it. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts on, uh, on politics, uh, because, uh, you know, Peter, he made the film, uh, in it, and in it he talked about how we cannot use the, poli uh, the political system. And I know that he's talking about the, the American political system. And the way I see it, I try to think about, okay, what what can we do here? What what resources do we have that we can use? Also, of course, we have to use the monetary system in some ways. You want to know what you can do here? Yeah. Can we just talk about yeah. in relation to politics? Yeah, oh, because, you know, we, I, the way I hear it... Get all the grant money you can get and go ahead and start building sustainable housing. I'll give you the blueprints no, I, when you're ready. I, I, I mean, talking about I mean, doing it through political means. Because Peter, he in, in Europe, it's different. I don't care what you call it. Call it a political party. Do whatever you have to do. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't have money, grant, wealthy people do in banks. And we have to have money to build a city. If you don't cater, if you say you want to build sustainable housing, new agriculture, study hydroponics to grow more food yeah. for sustainability. And if you, if you can't get grants that way, then if you have 40 million people that like the Venus Project, ask them to chip, chip in a buck a piece. Otherwise, whatever the hell they can, otherwise it'll never happen. So. Roxanne and I worked for 30 years using our own money on the Venus Project. Nobody banked it. Yeah. And so we put up 10 buildings with our own money. Now that we're there, Peter Joseph says it's not fair for you and Roxanne to back up everything. We need funding. You can't do it without funding. You, if you talk to 10 million people, they all love the Venus Project. If they don't put out effort or funding, they are, they are verbalists. Yeah. You know what I mean? So What's you do whatever you can to gain funds. Yeah. Now, and if you works. say this to industrialists, say, try to get a film showing automation from uh, our friend, uh, what's his name, in England. And Andrew Buxton, you're talking about? Yeah. On, on, our, yes. on our website? Yeah. 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 He's, Andrew, yeah. He's Andrew making Buxton. a film called Automation. He's got what it's there. like today. You have to show that film to people and say, what does that mean? It means that four years from now, most industry will automate and you'll be out of work. Now, when that happens, forget about the Venus Project. If industry goes more and more to automation, if they don't understand that, tell them to go to their supermarket, you will see a new machine where the cashier doesn't do anything. You run your card through them. You'll have to show them how people eventually will not have purchasing power in, in Denmark, if they automate. In Denmark, actually, the supermarkets just started um, eliminating the cashier totally yeah. because the people are just taking you the have to, them to a scanner. All, there are trains here, I'm told, that have no pilot 
no conductor. You wrote on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's happening all over the world. Yeah. If that keeps happening, who can buy vacuum cleaners in houses if people get laid off? Well, I can see machines doing the job of architects and attorneys. Because an attorney works in the handbook. He looks up things, cases, and he oh, yeah, we can computerize a laptop to be your legal advisor. Just like you can get any information you want on your laptop. Memory metals, new surgical practices, all over the world. That means we can replicate an attorney. The automobile factories used to have 3,000 people working there. Now they got 25 people. Tomorrow it'll be 20. And then down with people out. Now when you put in automation, you don't need air conditioning. Guys don't goof off smoke in the bathroom. You need no parking lot. You don't need insurance for the working people. You understand? You make your ceiling lower, it costs less to heat. So it's much cheaper to automate. 